So our guide dogs are trained to help people uh, by keeping them safe. The blind person tells the dog to go left, right, forward, or to stop. And the dog has to make sure that the team, the blind person and the dog, are safe. And they do that by being very observant of what's in front of them and to the sides of them. Depression, where you could walk straight off. The dogs are trained to stop there so that the blind person can figure out whether it's a curb that they have to step up or step down or it's just flat. They also <coughs> keep an eye out for traffic. If the blind person tells the dog to go forward to cross the street and there's a car coming, the dog is trained not to go. It's called willful disobedience. They can not listen to a command that the blind person tells them if they're unsafe. This is a regular light switch. You just push it on and off. You hold this here. Hold it down a little low. Hop, hold it. Push. Push. Oh, hold it. There you go. You hear it snap? That's the handicapped access button that you see in the store. Go we push. Go we push. Push. If I was, if Paul was working with me and I dropped my eyeglass case, pull it. Good boy. Um, Practical thing, if, if a veteran was working with Lula <laughs> and he, he dropped his hat, you don't even have to tell Lula what to do. Pull it. <laughs> <laughs> respond to where the laser pointer is pointed. So if I point to my shoes with the laser pointer, he'll go and get the shoes and leave the hat alone. Isn't that cool? Now somebody said, our dogs don't bark, right? But who, I can get who to bark. Sit. Sit. Our veterans come to classes. we have a guide dog class, a blind person is coming in to get a new dog, it takes 25 days for them to, to be trained with a dog. When the vet comes in, because they have sight, it's a little easier. And um, they stay with us from 10 to 12 days.